welcome to mechanical tutorial i am going to teach you different techniques in solid works for mechanical engineers i am going to train you different modules like surface modeling sheet metal and enclosure design product design plastic components design reverse engineering and many more tips and tricks in solid works hi today i am going to explain about countersink hole for countersink screws here you can see the countersink hole in the sheet metal and uh, this is the countersink screw so i'm going to show you how it's going to assemble enclosure see this is the assembly of uh, enclosure body See this is the countersunk screw. See this is the assembly. You can see this is the bottom cover and it is assembled with the top cover. You can see here this is the top cover countersink hole so here i am going to show you how to create this countersink hole with the hole wizard as well as forming tool these two are the best methods to create the model we can use the revolve feature but when we modify or some other person tries to modify the model it's not easy to identify the feature with revolve so best practice is to use hole wizard as well as forming tool so, countersink for countersunk screws see here i will show you the ter terminology this is the top diameter where the hole going to form and uh, this is the head diameter of the screw and here it is body diameter and hole di diameter before countersink so i'm going to explain about this that is called pre punch hole size and uh, this is the sheet metal thickness and the distance between taper vertex point and one of the edge of the sheet metal is 0.01 or 0.25 thickness so estimated pre punch formula is hole size is equal to b b that is top diameter and b minus c c is is equal to the body diameter the screw diameter into 0 0.075 so we will get the pre punch so this is the punch you can see so the punch before the, applying this uh, punch tool we have to create a hole that is called pre punch hole so we have to calculate that and based on that countersink uh, hole is created so now i am going to show you how to create countersink hole with the hole wizard see so it is similar to solid modeling see so here we need to take countersink option and i have taken m5 and blind taken 5 mm because the sheet thickness i have taken as 5 mm you can give more or through all option so we have to place the location so click at the origin and say ok here even if you want to customize these dimensions we can change here as per requirement but usually it will be standard we don't use customized until unless specified say ok so this is the 
want to sinkhole so this is how it looks like now i am going to show you how to create this forming tool see this usually the punch will be be in different shape but the forming tool in solvers will be in different we have to create like this so we have to remove the top material so i am going to show you how to create this see here i have created a sketch taken approximate dimensions then we have to create a revolve feature select this axis say okay now we have to create a forming tool so we have to select forming tool from the sheet metal module select the stopping face this is the stopping face and the material removal is this say okay and rest will be the forming so we have to save this in the forming to forming folder now simply drag and place it here for position we can place it at the origin or any location as per requirement say okay I'll show you the cross section. See, this is how it looks like. So, easy method is using whole wizard. If you are customizing, you can use forming tool. So, this is how we create countersink hole for countersunk screws in sheet metal. Thank you.